All right, guys, and welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father, and this is hashtag AFL Car Chat. And I'm here with uh, a review of today's Round 11 2019 between Collinwood, Magpies, and Fremantle Dockers. What can I say? Absolutely outstanding. I'm absolutely buzzing about this review. Really, really exciting game. Uh, first quarter, very tight. Not a lot between it. I think it they went in uh, at the interval. I think it was about 21 each or whatever. Uh, second interval, um, or second quarter, sorry. Um, Collinwood took a bit of a convincing lead. It, 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 it um, ended 41-28 in favour of uh, the Magpies. But... The match exploded in the third with Dockers coming out the traps, all guns blazing. Um, they were the first to every ball. They were putting pressure on the Collinwood 50. They didn't allow them out the 50 at all, really. Um, ruthless in front of goal. Few shouts out straight away. Um, first goal, uh, I think, in that quarter from the Dockers was from... Uh, let me see, I had it wrote down because it was really, really freaking exciting. Um, Michael Walters, um, it was a great bit of play. He picks it up, tight angle, reverses himself round 180 and kicks it over his shoulder and at the tight angle through the posts. Um, Bradley Hill then came through with a bit of a slider to um, take them, I think, level or into the lead. Um, yep, it was into the lead, 47-41. Um, and Hogan with a great team goal in the third quarter as well. He finished off there. Um, a couple of mentions for Collinwood, though. Jordan Dehoe had the goalie, sorry, had a pretty damn good match. He was really good. A little shout-out for Stevenson as well, who was last season's um, rising star of the year in the AFL. He had a bit of a good game too. Grundy, who looks like Rolo from the Vikings with the hair and the, the height. Very, very good game. Collinwood star player today. Really enjoyed watching him. Uh, Pendlebury looks slick in possession. He did the um, some, he had a bit of um, quality bits of play throughout. Um, but fourth quarter, again, Collinwood come back. Uh, a little bit late into this, the third quarter, get the scoreline tight again. Uh, at the end of the third, I should have said before we were going to the fourth, the end of the third was 54-58 in favour of the Dockers. So we come back out quite tight um, going into the fourth. But just at the end of that third though, I forgot to mention, we had an injury to Alex Pierce, who was cleaning up near enough everything Collinwood were trying to do in the um, Dockers 50. Um, but that injury allowed Collinwood to get a couple of kicks going into the fourth. And then into the fourth, Collinwood kind of took control a little at the start. Um, but boom, last few minutes, Dockers just hounded them every loose ball. They got to first... Didn't let them out the 50 again. Just up the ante when they needed to. Really hungry for every ball. Massive, massive, massive shout out to Fife. Absolutely strolled it today. Without doubt. No one came close to him. The best player on the park. Without any shadow of a doubt. And second, probably Hill. With an un unbelievable match as well. And... Couple of, well, who was it that got the kick? I wrote it down who got the kick in the fourth. Um, Michael Walters, there you go, with the kick to win it. And they had another chance at the end with Matera, who missed, but it was irrelevant after the siren. The match ended 75-79 in favour of the Dockers, who never gave up the ghost one single bit. The underdog won, fantastic for the sport. Collinwood had to eat a little bit of humble pie, no pun intended. Yes, there was. Um, <laughs> absolutely loved this game. Fantastic effort from the Dockers. Congratulations to you. I thought the quality of Collinwood was going to shine through towards the end of the third and the fourth, and they were going to see it out. But the drama, the drama of this sport, Aussie rules, is why I absolutely love it. They never needed the after siren goal this time, um, like Michael Walters needed last week. Uh, after the siren, boom, hit the stick, didn't matter, the point took them through to, to win last week, they didn't need it, they'd already won, and he just kicked it, Pfft. 
Never made any point, but who cares? 79, 75, victors today for the Talkers. Congratulations. And Ma, man of the match, Fife, you are absolutely outstanding. All over the place today. A true leader. Skipper he was. He played like one. Um, and Hill looks unbelievable, doesn't he? He's definitely going to be a player I'll watch out for more. Things happen. He's on the left-hand side. He's on the right-hand side. He's everywhere. He's here. He's there. He's every fucking where. He is Hill. Whatever his first name is, I don't even know. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Unbelievable, Jeff. Loved it. Bradley Hill. There you go. He's here. He's there. He's every fucking where. He's Bradley Hill. Bradley Hill. Loved it. Thanks very much, guys. This is hashtag EFL Car Chat. And I'm sorry, Maggies. You just won the update. Where are you, pies? Dockers. Everybody loves an underdog story. Success. Well done, guys. You deserve the win. Fantastic advert for the sport again. And a thoroughly enjoyable match. See you soon, guys.